So in this story, we're going to be talking about the UK Statistics Authority rebuking Michael Gove over Brexit figures. So the Cabin Office used unver unverifiable data to rebut a law ro road haulage association survey showing export volumes dropped by 68%. So the Cabin Office, run by Michael Gove, has been officially reprimanded, reprimanded by the UK Statistics Authority for using unpublished and unverifiable data in an attempt to deny that Brexit has caused a massive fall in volumes of trade through Brexit ports. Um, the criticism follows a story um, in The Observer on the 7th of February that cited a survey by the Road Haulage Association. I'm not sure if we spoke about that. Hmm. Um, of its international members showing export volumes had dropped by a staggering 68% in January through uh, Brexit ports and the Channel Tunnel. The Road Haulage Association wrote to Gove at the time saying intelligence that we are collecting on an ongoing, ongoing basis from international hauliers suggests that lo uh, loads to the EU have reduced by as much as 68%, which can now be evidenced by the increased number of empty trailers, which are not currently considered in the statistics. The Road Haulage Association accused Michael Gove of failing to heed its warnings that trade would be damaged unless there are a dramatic increase in the num there is a dr there was a dramatic increase in the number of customs officials, and we've covered um, depending on the scheduling there's another article which talks about the fact that the uk has is this one here um has kind of uh what's it called are going to reduce the kind of the um how strict the import rules are from the eu because they fear um food shortages and that's in part because we don't have the number of customs officials that we need to actually do all of these checks the cabinet office has responded to the observer story with a point by point rebuttal of the road haulage association's claims on its website stating that inbound and outbound flows across the uk ports were close to normal at 95 percent and 96 uh, outbound 95 percent outbound and 96 percent inbound in spite of the impact of covid lockdowns on trade um, you know trade going down a bit due to Brexit and because of Covid anyways so it's a very strange kind of statement talking about percentages but in a letter to uh, Richard Lorks um, Chief Statistician at the Cabinet Office sent on Friday following an investigation, Ed Humpherson, Director General for the Regulation at the Statistics Authority, expressed serious concern at the way the department had used data to rebut the Road, ha road Haulage Association's information. And these 95 and 96% figures have actually been, um, the BBC actually cited those numbers as well. So I wonder if they'll offer some sort of retraction on the article that they published. The letter said um, the cabinet um, office's strong rebuttal contained claims based on unpublished data and as these figures cannot be verified this is our expectation that any data used publicly by the government should be published in an accessible form with appropriate explanations of context and sources or as one t twitter person put it there are lies damn lies and michael gove no what was it what did he say lies damn lies uh, and statistics and michael gove something like that it's funny i laughed um, while Humpherson suggested that Cabinet Office has given assurances that it would provide more information about where it gets its information from, probably just written down somewhere, Michael Gove just picks a number out of a hat that goes from between 90 and 100, came from, he added. The Cabinet Office should now should consider how in future it can be more transparent through the release of data. Lol, that's not going to happen. Uh, for example, it should ensure that there is a significant reason to use their... Um, for example, it should ensure that there is a significant reason to use unpublished management information in a public statement. The underlying data is published before or at the time as the public statement. If there is continued or anticipated public interest in the data, it should consider whether there is a need for a new ad hoc or regular statistical release. They're trying to come up with systems in order to stop, I guess, Michael Gove from just publishing data out there without having any sources. And... Um, I think the Road Haulage Association has their own sources on the information. So, you know, one has sources and one doesn't. Mm, don't know which one to believe. Probably going to go with the one that has actual information. 
The authority, which is independent of ministers, has a statutory objective to safeguard the production and dissemination of statistics by government. In terms of reference, state that it would intervene, um, raise concerns if official statistics in a document or statement are presented in such a way that, in the authority's opinion, they are liable to mislead the public or undermine the integrity of official statistics. So, that, you know, they're just doing their job, basically. Rachel Reeves, shadow minister for the Cabinet Office, said, Our British business businesses are undergoing huge strain again i don't like rachel reeve so uh, our businesses are undergoing a huge strain from the pandemic and reams of costly new red tape as a result of the government's deal with the eu the government should spend less time arguing with our businesses and spinning against them and more time working with help uh, working with them to help i mean what a labor what would labor do about this these are the questions I would ask. Trade experts and labour industry and sorry, trade experts and industry sources said ministers had deliberately tried to deny there was any serious fall off in trade caused by Brexit by claiming that flows of lorries had been largely unaffected rather than the volume of goods contained in them. So what the government have said is, you know, tr lorries are moving. What's the problem here? But then what these experts have talked about is that there's nothing in these lorries because they want to get them out of the UK to do jobs inside the EU. So maybe, you know, re, you know, continuing to export stuff into the UK, that's what these lorries are needed for. Or maybe you want to move stuff within, you know, the EU single market, you know, who knows. But they want to get these lorries out of being stuck within, you know, the UK Dover queues um, by having no goods means no customs checks, which means they can get out way quicker. Um, the Road Haulage Association has made it clear, however, that there is there was referencing to the volume of goods carried and stress that very high numbers of lorries when travelled to and from the UK were returning to the continent empty because of the problem faced by UK exporters as a result of post-Brexit rules and regulations. Industry sources said um, last night while that while there had been an improvement since January, there was evidence that the number of lorries returning to the EU was around 50%. So half of the lorries returning to the EU is are empty. And why that's a problem is typically what would have happened before um, before Brexit is, you know, lorries, you know, might take something from France to the UK. And then what you could do is take something from, say, the UK to Germany like that. So that way, you know, it's not a wasted journey. But because it's like this what it means is they'll come to the uk and they get out you know empty because th instead of you know exporting something from the uk into the single market they want to get out because otherwise that lorry is going to be stuck in the queues for a long time and you know 50 percent of lorries are doing this they are leaving empty-handed um the first official statistics on the level of trade to and from the eu since the first of january are due to be published later this month so this article is from the 6th of march so we'll see at the end of march what happens um, in terms of the numbers but uh, yeah not looking good for um, old Michael there is it um, so yeah I'm going to leave it in the comment well I would just to further explain this one basically Michael Gove has lied and he used unverified statistics to you know dunk on the road haulage association where he talks about you know let's see if we can find it um, 90 oh, where he talks about 96 and 95 percent of outbound and 96 percent of inbound um, you know, lorries, it's all the same, basically, saying that lorries are flowing, you know, normal, you're taking a 5 and 4% hit, respectively, but the Road Haulage Association is saying, yeah, you, but these lorries are empty, the ones leaving the UK are empty, and then Michael Gove, you know, <laughs> you know, trying to spin the facts here, um, you know, this is embarrassing from Michael Gove, instead of trying to solve the problem, he's trying to spin his way out of it, trying to say there's no problem, and, you know, like we said in this article here, the government are going to start relaxing import rules when they're implemented on the 1st of April or July. It's one of those two um, because they don't want to see food shortages because once people see the reality of this, that's when they're going to realise how bad things are. You know, people on the other side have realised how bad Brexit was from the start. But once they had problems getting in things like fresh fish, you know, I think that's when they really, really realise, you know, this system sucks. You know, Brexit sucks. And once we start having problems on our side when it comes to imports, we're going to realise Brexit sucks. Because even though we're going to relax, um, you know, checks on imports, there's still going to be things like waiting times. There's still going to be delays, and there's still going to be extra costs. Because if country, you know, countries that, you know, EU countries that still want to export to the UK still might need customs agents, or you know, to hire more admin people in order to deal with, you know, the extra paperwork and stuff like that. So what does that mean? Extra costs. And what, where do those costs go to? They don't go. They, you know, they, they're not typically absorbed by the business. They are typically absorbed by the consumer. So that means prices are going to go up. 
um and you know prices are already going up you know mum's my mum's stupid um it's like some nido uh milk powder thing you know it's gone up by like two pounds you know and that's that's from switzerland so you know the price of that could go up as well because of you know import checks or maybe they just put the price up just because they can stupid milk powder um anyways i'm gonna leave it there let me know what you think in the comments below like comment share subscribe lies damn lies damn li lies damn lies and statistics and michael gove let me know what you think in the comments below like comment share subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in the next one